Hello guys, gals, and monkey gender pals. Well, you guys remember Jaden, right? Well, if you don't, uh, Jaden is an another one of these generic gameplay commentary channels, uh, but there's something special about him uh, that does set him apart from the rest, although it's, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a positive attribute. Uh, I've done a couple videos on him uh, previously. One of them is more of a, a meme video. One of them almost a year ago now, actually. Damn. <laughs> Time flies, doesn't it? was more in depth talking about him but uh we're gonna be uh touching base with him again and another figure uh scrimzox as well so <laughs> we're about to get right into that but again if you enjoy these videos please remember to like the video and subscribe as well uh i usually don't say that but apparently data shows that it actually works so i'm gonna start saying it now we'll see we'll see what happens i guess but Let's get right into it. You know, sometimes I think that my content is lazy. And then I watch some of Jaden's videos and then remember how much worse it could be. Like, if I actually wanted to make money, I could easily just copy Jaden's fucking generic ass formula, but I don't really care about that because I do this for fun and it would be completely fucking miserable to have to make Jaden's cookie cutter, generic ass drama content. It would literally kill me. And in all seriousness, though, there, there's literally nothing special or unique or interesting about Jaden's content or his personality. There's no spirit or soul, if you kind of get what I'm saying, in his videos. And there's probably a good reason for this. There's probably a good reason why Jaden doesn't uh, display any his actual um, person in his videos. <laughs> but in general... He's a prime example of all these, you know, bottom of the barrel commentary channels that people still watch for some reason. Uh, mostly children. Um, like his audience is, I guarantee it, uh, mostly 12 year olds. Maybe 13. And then that's pushing it, to be honest. Uh, Jaden's content is so absurdly void and empty. I would bet my left fucking nut. I, I'm, I'm not kidding. Bullsh no bullshit for real. I would bet. My fucking left nut. That if you were to go deep fake text to speech Jaden's video and you were able to get like a really good uh, deep fake, you could run his entire fucking channel off a deep fake AI voice, and, and literally no one could fucking tell the difference. I'm not even kidding. Uh, he is that fucking generic. Jaden's gotten into a lot of shit, which is how Jaden is. Jade Jaden gets into a lot of shit, uh, quite frequently. Jaden, you know, he's one of those characters that, like, you think he's hit rock bottom, but no, 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 he just keeps going. He gets going and going, like, there is no fucking rock bottom for Jaden. That, that does not exist in, uh, in the Jaden mind. The idea of rock bottom. It, it, I don't think it's possible for him at this point, but he kind of just been spiraling down uh, a fucking Twitter drain over the past uh, past six months or so. Like, he just keeps exponentially getting more and more deranged as time goes on. Jaden is terminally online and is never actually going to leave the internet, regardless of what he says. But in all seriousness, I mean, is that necessarily uh, the worst thing in the world? I mean, he is definitely entered an entire... He is definitely a very entertaining uh, character, I'll give him that. Uh, no one really likes him, but he he's definitely definitely a character, definitely pretty entertaining to, to look at from time to time. All for, for all the wrong reasons, of course, but entertaining nonetheless. I mean, we got Jaden and we got Keffels. If he, I'm sure you also know who Keffels is. If not, uh, oof. Another very interesting character, but they are duking it out, you know? They, they, not literally, but they basically, they're basically like one up in each other, you know? They're trying to see who can become the most delusional troon on the internet, like Jaden or Keffels. Right now, you know, Keffels, I would say, is winning, but, you know, Jaden's catching up. I'm just saying, like, Jaden is, Jaden is making ground, making lots of ground, uh, on Keffels on being a fucking delusional wall cow. Right now, uh, I'd still say Keffels is winning just by a little bit, though. The only reason for that is...
Keffel's a little bit more actually fucked up. I, I can say a lot of shit about Jaden, but at least Jaden isn't into the whole grooming kids thing, you know? Like, that the, the, that's the one compliment I, I can give Jaden, is that uh, they aren't into, like, the whole hitting up uh, underage minors on Discord and uh, grooming them into their little uh, estrogen cult. So, one point for Jaden, I guess, but... Eh, that, that's a pretty easy one to get. Like, how hard is it to not do that, for real? <laughs> anyway, I, I almost want to see Jane just completely break down and snap at this point. I think it's on the verge of happening, you know, and go full Chris Chan 2.0 mode, you know what I'm saying? Like, the old one's in prison, so we need a new one. We need a new one, and uh, I think Jaden's a definitely a viable candidate, in my opinion, but a man can dream, I guess. But back to the topic of today's video, I'm going to be getting into the more recent wacky and uncharacteristic, well, actually, now that I think about it, completely 100% characteristic happenings going on with Jaden. So, uh, to start off, yeah, apparently Jaden and Scrimzox are really good friends, which, are you surprised? I'm not surprised. Uh, you, you also remember Scrimzox, right? If you don't, I made a video on him as well. Almost a fucking year ago, actually. A uh, long time ago, like September of 2021. Like, damn, damn, it's been a <laughs> God damn, it's been a while. He sent his cock to a 12-year-old. Well, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, my bad. I don't want to dead name such a wonderful, wholehearted degenerate. Natty Foreskin sent her cock to a 12-year-old. There? You guys happy? Guys, her voice sounded very mature for her age, okay? Oh, and yeah, there's another example where he was also asking for nudes from a minor as well, like literally begging for them. Like it, it was recorded and leaked. He was lit it's pathetic. If it's on the internet, it's out there if you want to go give it a listen, but he's literally begging a, a minor for nudes. It, it was sad. It is sad. Uh, and then in his uh, response, slash apology video, he claimed he was asking for them ironically. No, I'm not shitting you. That that was the excuse he fucking used. It was ironic, bro. I was asking for them ironically. Have you ever heard of irony? It, it was ironic, okay? It was irony. What I did was illegal, but not predatory, okay? And honestly, to, to be quite frank, I'm not fucking surprised. I'm not surprised, to be honest. Like, he gave off, uh, he gave off those kinds of weird fucking vibes. Like, Scrimzox also seems to be that, that kind of guy, you know? Like, he gave off those vibes. Like, I'm, I'm not surprised, to, to be quite frank. Scrimzox is also the kind of guy who completely rebrands his content, changes his name, deletes his social media and older videos, and kind of just scrubs his internet presence and refreshes everything. Um, hoping that it'll all just magically, uh, magically go away. He's done that again. And I, I, I talked about this in my video about him doing that before. And I literally predicted he would do it again. And he did do it again. He started out as Nathrix, making Roblox videos, then rebranded as Scrimzox, the, uh, libertarian. Um, using that word extremely, extremely loosely and then he was nagasaki or however the hell you pronounce that um i'm just gonna pronounce it as nagasaki because i i'm not gonna fucking try to pronounce it correctly and making shitty leftist bread tube commentary videos and then now he is natty foreskin and is back to making roblox videos again like literally when i was recording that video over a year ago i was thinking in my head about how this guy's gonna get fucking exposed for doing some weird shit to minors on discord that was literally in the back of my head and uh i didn't have enough like direct evidence in my opinion to label this guy as a pedophile at the time and in my opinion i i really don't like to throw the word around like throw the label of pedophile around i i don't think it's a good thing to do um so, because I didn't really see any direct evidence of what he did, I didn't want to throw that label on him just yet, even though I had a gut feeling 
But again, back in that video, and I did touch on this a little bit, he did have some oddly strange and inappropriate behavior in his old Roblox-themed Discord server full of children, which was at the least very inappropriate, and I did briefly touch on that, but again, it wasn't the core theme of the video. It was just something I kind of touched on a bit. Uh, the main theme of the video was how he's one hell of a hypocrite and a political grifter, which he still is, so I didn't focus the entire video on it. I kind of just briefly touched on it. I was the first one to make a video on the guy, by the way. The video I made was before all the shit came out about him. It was before Grimsey's video. My video was the first, all right? I was the first guy, and I'm, I'm gonna fucking take credit for that, and in general, yeah, I was the first one. My video, September 2021, at least a few months before anyone else made a video on the guy, I was first. Yeah, it only got 300 views. Yeah, nobody gave a shit about it, but I, I was the first one to the table, all right? And uh, I think Scrimzox even still has a comment there. You can go and see it if you want. Uh, it's still up. He hasn't deleted it yet, but yeah. I was there first, bitches. I called this nigga out. Me, I did it. I was first to the table. And funnily enough, everything I predicted he would do, uh, he fucking did. <laughs> this is kind of a meaningless tangent, but also kind of not. Uh, because, by the way, it actually is important to the newest Jaden saga, sort of. It does tie in... Uh, to an extent, but I, I just wanted to cover Scrimzox as well and get caught up with him, just because I felt this would be a good video to include that in. You see, Jaden is one of these figures that takes the term terminally online to a whole new level. Like, I mean, he literally cannot get off the internet. I wouldn't be surprised if he was genuinely addicted, like, so badly, because I, I don't think he can. I genuinely... Do not think he has the ability at this point to actually get off Twitter. But, again, he's just sad and pathetic. Um, in a lot of his Twitter, especially his recent one before it, it got canned, um, for reasons we'll get into in just a second, um, yeah, he managed to get his Twitter banned, um, which... It's a little bit harder in Elon's Twitter now, but still definitely possible. Elon has not fully fixed the platform. It still has, it's still pretty fucking easy to get banned, and there's still a lot of uh, rogue jannies on there that kind of just do what they want. So I wouldn't say Twitter's a free speech platform at, at this point, but tangent aside, all troons on Twitter are like this. A lot of trans accounts in LGBT uh, focused spaces, you'll you'll figure this out immediately, <laughs> um, and you'll immediately understand what I'm getting at when I say these people are perpetually angry at the world and everything in general. I genuinely could not imagine being as perpetually, constantly sad, miserable, and angry as Jaden. I genuinely, I I just can't imagine it, man. Like, uh, if you ever wonder why the, the suicide rate uh, is so fucking high, just just look into the um, LGBT, like, social media um, spaces and focused accounts, and you'll immediately, you'll immediately understand. Like, these people are just not happy. That gets us into Jaden's most recent arc. To start this off, uh, we have to go into this knowing that Jaden really doesn't like religious people. Mainly Christians. Um, specifically Christians, but all religious people in general, um, and, and I mean really, really, really doesn't like religious people. We're talking about, like, some of them on screen, um, but I, I'm not going to say them because I'm genuinely worried that I will get a strike. And there's a couple ones I'm not even going to put on the screen because they're that bad, but in general, um, Jaden really doesn't like Christians, and um, during his most recent mental breakdown, um... He started tweeting out some uh, some of this kind of shit. <laughs> and uh, as you can see here, I think we can all agree here that these aren't jokes, man. Like, I'm definitely not the kind of person to joke police. I like edgy humor. I like to talk shit uh, about people and say rather offensive things, make offensive jokes. But the difference, is, the, the difference here um, is that these aren't jokes. <laughs> these are statements. There isn't any punchlines. There isn't any thing being made fun of. There isn't any aspect 
of, uh, let's say, Christianity or religion that's actually being made fun of or critiqued. It is literally just Jaden venting. It is a statement from Jaden venting while having a mental breakdown. That is all it is. Uh, after he got pushed back for this, Jaden decided to go 180 and uh, all of a sudden uh, take, the turn, take the turn of, uh, oh, it was all just a joke, man. Uh, it was just a joke. Oh, this is just a joke. I was just joking, y'all. Uh, you can't take a joke. Uh, these chuds can't take a joke. Uh, now, the thing um, about this that is ironic and is why Jaden can't really use this excuse is because Jaden can't take jokes himself. Jaden has proven time and time again to can be completely unable to take jokes about anything trans-related. Because he's a massive hypocrite, but we already knew that. I guarantee you, if someone said anything even remotely similar to the uh, jokes that um, Jaden was saying about Christians, if, if someone just swapped that and, and, and inserted, uh, let's say, uh, trans people, Jaden would blow a fucking fuse. Like, literally blow a fuse, start instantly trying to dox and send as much harassment to that person as possible, mass report all of their social medias, make multiple fucking videos crying. Like, Jaden would go complete ape mode meltdown. So, um, the fact that Jaden is saying that people need to learn to take a joke while um, not being able to take any jokes ever himself is uh, is comically ironic. And um, after this happened, um, another thing surfaced, uh, going back to how, you know, Jaden and Scrimzox are already, already good friends with each other, and we already went over all that shit, but <laughs> Jaden also went out of his way multiple times to defend Scrimzox and his actions, repeatedly. Um, now, Jaden has since backed up a little bit, you know, wind sh winded shit back and changed it to simply saying that although he doesn't agree with uh, Scrimzox's, Scrimzox's actions, he doesn't think it's nearly as bad as what people are making it out to be. That's what he is saying now. He's kind of walked shit back a little bit, but that wasn't originally what he was saying, and uh, he was fully defending it originally. And then he got pushed back, so he walked it back. But I feel like that's important to mention as well. Although the exchange between the two on Discord that has been leaked <laughs> over screenshots seems to indicate Jaden very well knew the severity of what uh, uh, Scrimzox did and just didn't care until Scrimzox said something that triggered him and pissed him off. And, and then now, now he cares for some reason. That's just how Jaden works. That's how Jaden's mind works. Now, what I think is, is very telling in general is just that Jaden whines and bitches and moans and reports people for simply having opinions and making jokes that he sees as transphobic or, and problematic. But at the same time, Jaden has no issue, literally no issue, advocating for violence against people he doesn't like and then passing those off as simply jokes. But the second someone makes a joke at the expense of the almighty, all-important LGBT cult, immediately, according to Jaden, now that's not a joke. That's never a joke. And that, uh, that is literally killing trans people. Literally transgenocide um, is what Jaden would say. It's very apparent the double standard Jaden has here. And to really ram that home... Jaden is perfectly comfortable, as I previously mentioned, being friends with someone like Scrimsocks, and doesn't see what he did as that big of a deal. But religious folks and individuals who have alternative opinions on, let's say, LGBT issues, or, or even just joke, even just joke about them, are immediately seen as literally fucking evil, worse than Hitler, literally uh, committing genocide, Literally killing trans people, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, according to Jaden's broken, crack smoking moral compass. So, in response to all this, uh, Jaden was once again briefly left Twitter, only to come back and aggressively start spurging out again. 
as one does. And I just thought it would be a nice way to kind of take our mind off of a lot of the more serious political shit that's going on right now. And it was something a little more entertaining, uh, I guess, like doing a little update on uh, two individuals I've talked about before on the channel and what shit they've, uh, I guess, gotten themselves up to over the past year and I guess kind of what they're up to now. So this video has already ran uh, way too long because of my uh, inability to not go on tangents, apparently. So I'm going to end it here. I'm Kentucky Fried Pepe, literally committing genocide, no cap, and signing out. <laughs>